My name is Chris Gray. I'm married with three kids and a little Yorkie dog. I'm in a house full of ladies and I love it. So I'm a project manager in the control center. The control center is a 24 seven shift environment where we're managing the power grid. We're doing monitoring, we're coordinating maintenance, emergency response, construction, a lot of different work across the state. All three of my children are adopted from China. So we took three separate trips over there to get them. So we just have a different connection, just thinking ab abroad, internationally. Uh, but I would say we've just very inclusive minded uh, and very open and thinking beyond just what you hear to really trying to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes. So I grew up in Houston, not in the best of neighborhoods. So success for us in the 70s was getting out of that neighborhood. But I feel like I never forgot where I came from and the fact that I had friends and cousins who were still back in that neighborhood. Focus Community Strategies is a nonprofit. It's a faith-based nonprofit that's been around for a little over 40 years. Currently, I serve on the FCS board uh, and I've been a board member for about 10 years. We're a nonprofit, but we have a very entrepreneurial mindset. And so our key branches are mixed income housing. So we do, we have affordable and workforce housing and then economic development. And you've seen that with our coffee shop next door where we hire folks from the community and then we have a community market here. And there's other endeavors that we do that fit on that economic development piece. And then our, our other key pillar is neighborhood engagement. Uh, so we do different things that interact with youth, uh, different things that serve the community. Uh, and then the last one is train here. We try to take what we have done over the years and what we've learned over decades and help others do that uh, in their community. And so I think discovering this organization was just a way to reach back and take what I had gained and try to help another community. Last year when Rayshar Brooks was killed, which was just right about a quarter mile from here, right here in this community, uh, obviously that hit the local and national news. So we're talking about uh, just social justice and why that's important. And I think it's important beyond just the fact that it's been a, a media thing and, and is currently. I think it, it, it's a real thing that impacts real people. Uh, it, it's not an us and them, it, it's us. These are, our, these are our coworkers, these are our neighbors. These are our friends and family that are impacted by these issues. When I joined Georgia Power, I was very excited about this whole idea of being a citizen where you serve and kind of understanding that we impact the community both directly through our work of providing electricity and we're scattered all over the state, just what we represent and where we put our energy and what our foundation does. I think all of that kind of comes together in a very powerful way.